Hey folks, time for the Psalm cast, Psalm 14, a psalm of upset and a psalm that talks about um, people who don't believe in God. So here we go. The fool says in their heart, there is no God. They are corrupt. Their deeds are vile, for there is no one who does good. The Lord looks down from heaven on the sons of people to see if there are any who understand, any who seek God. All have turned aside. They have together become corrupt. There is no one who does good, not even one. Will evildoers never learn? Those who devour my people as men eat bread? There they are, overwhelmed with dread, for God is present in the company of the righteous. Will you evildoers frustrate the plans of the poor, but the Lord is their refuge. Oh, that salvation for Israel would come out of Zion. When the Lord restores the fortunes of the people, let Jacob rejoice and Israel be glad. That's the end of the psalm and the end of the reading there. Certainly David just saying that anyone who does not believe in God is corrupt and incapable of doing anything good. Is that true? Um, maybe not. Really, when we think about the number of people who don't necessarily have a professed religion or even profess themselves as atheists, it is certainly possible for them to go do good. And usually that uh, preference for doing good comes out of a love for humanity. Now, religious people take that idea of the love for humanity. We call it God. We call it religion. We call it faith. Atheists call it something else. So that's really not in dispute. What's in dispute is that anybody, even those who profess themselves to be people of faith, who then are corrupt, who allow base impulses, their in individual impulses for their fame or their wealth or their power to drive them, that is antithetical to the nature relationship with God. So I don't really get caught up in labels around saying a person is atheist or not and, and saying that a person who is without religion or without church affiliation is good or bad, if they're doing good, then I see that through my lens as a person of faith as that good comes from God. They might see that that's something else. That's fine. The, the item that is in dispute is are the actions that any of us take, whether they, we are religious or not religious, church attending and not church attending, are those impulses, are those directions, are those initiatives coming from good or from evil? That's what it comes down to. So we can leave off the name calling or leave off saying that some people are good or bad based on their religious affiliations or church attendance. It's like, if you're good and it's coming from love, it's all good, whether you go to church or not. So a couple of thoughts on Psalm 14. Let's have a prayer. Holy One, Help us be people motivated by, inspired by, directed by, and judged by the love we share for others. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you so much for being with me for the Psalm cast. Next time is Psalm 15, a short one. We'll see what it has to say. Be blessed and be a blessing.